The ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, has technically suspended the National Reconciliation Committee of the party headed by Chief B.C. Akande, former governor of Oshun State, and first interim national chairman of the party. A credible source in the party said the job of the Akande-led committee would now be carried out in all states of the federation by the 61-member contact and strategy committee of the party inaugurated by the national chairman of the Ketika and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, CECPC, Governor Maimala Bernie of Yobe State. The 61-member committee, which include 12 governors as well as former speakers of the House of Representatives, Honorable Dimeji Bankole and Honorable Yakubu Dogara is headed by Governor Abu Bakar Bandoro of Jigawa State. Daily Independent had few days ago reported that the moves by the APC to reconcile its members ahead of the 2023 general elections appear to have hit the rocks following unresolved issues and latest upheavals in some states' chapter of the party. President Mohamed Buhari and the leadership of the APC in February 2020 named Chief B.C. Akande as leader of the National Reconciliation Committee of the party. The initial chairman, Senate President Ahmad Lawan, was dropped after some party members, especially in Edo APC, accused him of bias in the political crisis that rocked the state before the governorship election. Other members of the Akande-led committee included Governor of Niger State, Abu Bakar Sani Bello, Governor of Oshun State, Gbeyoga Oyetola, Senate Leader, Senator Yaya, Abdullahi, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Idris Wase, Senator Umaru Tanku, Al Makura, Senator Kashim Shetima, Minister of State of Environment, Sharon Ikezo, Alaji Nasi Aliko Koki, Senator Kairat Gwadeba Abdullah Razak, and Senator Binta Gaba. Credible party sources said the committee had not achieved much since its formation, and party members were worried that the party may go into the 2023 election more polarized than it was presently. While some party members blamed the outbreak of the COVID-19 as a major impediment to the committee's work, others blamed the indifference of Akande to the assignment owing to the latest developments in the party especially alleged attempts by some power brokers to humiliate his ally, Asiwaju Bola Tinubu, former governor of Lagos State and the party's national leader. According to a credible source in the party who has asked to compare the pace of the People's Democratic Party PDP's Reconciliation and Strategy Committee led by former Senate President Bukola Saraki and that of the ruling party, many APC members are not really feeling the impact of the reconciliatory efforts of the Akande-led committee and are calling for the change. Aside some unresolved crises in the states like Kwara, Imo, Oshun, Ogun, Edo, Ondo, Zamfara and Rivers, which have been managed silently, also cited latest developments which led to open confrontation between Governor Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak of Kwara State and the Minister of Information, Alaji Lai Mohammed, and the altercation between Governor Hopo Zodima and Senator Rocha Sokorocha. Are you aware the Akande-led committee was inaugurated in February 2020? That was when COVID-19 outbreaks started in Nigeria and this greatly affected the work of the committee as they didn't do much. Some have said the committee could have deployed the use of technology such as Zoom, but we all know that in resolving crises, the method of virtual meeting won't be as effective as having one-on-one -on -one meeting where the warring parties we sit together and even embrace after issues are resolved, the source said. APC, they are really fighting hard to ensure that uh, come 2023 that um, they, <laughs> they retain power, but they will get a shocker. They won't believe. It will be a shocker because Nigerians are very, very, uh, we are very alert right now and everyone is a politician. I keep saying it right now. Everyone is a politician because days that we sat that uh, let them do what they are doing, that is why we're getting all of this that we're getting right now but we are all involved in the politics so let them not think that um, they can just um, do things somehow and um, still get away with it so what is happening right now is that um, sometime last year bc akande was appointed as a reconciliation head to actually end um, litigations 
um, reconcile aggrieved members. And we know he has loads of experience. I'm sure that he was not just appointed, but um, based on his past experience, he was former governor. He was also former um, interim chairman of the party. He was former governor for Oshun State. And with all of those his experience under his sleeves, I believe that is why um, the leadership of the party appointed him. But technically, what is going on right now, <laughs> BC Akande has been dropped because we know that um, a 61 uh, uh, member contact and strategy committee was just set up. APC, they keep coming up with surprises. You know, it was this same BC Akande that kicked against the registration and revalidation exercise. So I believe what... Um, APC is doing right now. They are clearing everyone off the way, everyone that will oppose their, their, what they will do. You know, even among this um, contact and strategy committee, they have former governors. So it is not like a criteria that, okay, if you are a former governor, you won't fit in. They have former governors in this committee. And, you know, people have been speculating that why was Asiwaju Bolatinubu not part of it? Why was he not added? We know um, within the party, uh, the cabal, <laughs> they are all working against Tinubu. Despite the fact that the um, presidency came out with a report that was yesterday that um, the relationship between President Muhammad Buhari and Tinubu is still intact. All those are just stories. They are just stories. They should keep telling those stories. We know very well that uh, they know their, their motive. Their motive is to withdraw influence from those who they see that will oppose what they will do and also president Mohammed buhari made it clear that he wants his interest to be protected once he's left once he's no more president after 2023 what sort of interest is he talking about that means he wants to rule you know uh, they, there's been talks that uh, buhari wants to rule third term in proxy so these are all of the things he's putting he's setting in place he's uh he's uh made up a, a committee of 61 members and as such this uh, replaces um, BC Akande's Reconciliation Committee because what this the, the charge they've given these 61 uh, members is that uh, they need to begin to work. And you can see that they were picked from different um, state chapters. So right now it's been said that um, um, litigations and all of the crises will be dealt with internally in the different state chapters. One thing is that APC, they are full of surprises, very full of surprises. The more you look at this, this ruling party, the more you look at them, the less you see. Very interesting to note. It could be, maybe I don't know if this is a payback for BC Akande for kicking against the registration, because you know he stated that it was needless. It's just a waste of money, that there are other things they need to pay attention to, other urgent matters, and they are talking about a registration or a revalidation. He kicked against it. Well, guys, but let's hear your take um, down below in the comment section. And thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.